welcome to my playhouse. And today I was sitting over there working at the computer and I was like uh, looking at my camera. I have a still photo camera, it's right around the table right now and I wanted to try and use that for doing video instead of this uh, video camera. And it has some advantages and it has some disadvantages so I thought I'll I'll try and record some video with it, but um, before I do that, I might might as well see if there's any new firmware for it because normally you want to use the latest firmware on your camera, your TV, kind of everything, right? The, the latest firmware is usually the best firmware. So I have this Canon down here. Let's just turn it around, and it's a it's a Canon. 600D and it's a fairly expensive camera. I think it was about 5,000 kronos. That's about $800 or something like that. And it was a camera that I... Um, well, it was my ex-girlfriend that wanted a camera and her brother had a camera just like something like this. And she wanted a, cam a Canon camera. Well, all my friends, they use Nikon, but <clears throat> who am I to, to argue? So it became a Canon camera, and then she left me. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, but I wanted to firmware upgrade this, and I was just about to. I was sitting at the computer with the camera plugged in here, and I was about to firmware upgrade it, and I... <clears throat> came to think of it, uh, what would happen if the battery ran dry while I'm firmware upgrading this camera? That would probably ruin my day. So right now the battery are charging over here. So that will, will not happen. Let's go and see where you get the firmware from, from Canon's webpage while it's updating or charging the battery. I opened up Chrome browser and I went to canon.com up here and on canon.com you can choose your language or your, where you're from in the world so I choose Europe and I'm in Denmark so that's Denmark and I choose private and camera you can probably not use this because this is all in Danish and it was a, it's a camera like that, so I have to push down there. And this is a beginner and semi-pro and pro camera, so I found out that <coughs> the one I bought was in beginner. Or oh, actually, it, it wasn't even there. I found that there's the 700D. I don't know if there's 600, no, it's not there, but I pressed the 700D. And I found out here that the web address, let's just zoom in on that. The web address was like the camera number, so I just went up here. Oh, that's too much there. And I just changed that for 600. And whoopsie, it found my camera. Nice. And then over here, there was like download. Oh, up there, download, rich, found that. And there was a big firmware thing right there. I There's probably multiple ways to go into this, but I found down here is a download thing, and I chose that one, download. And blah, 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 blah. All your kits, all your money, all your everything belongs to us. If you do anything, um, okay. And it started downloading. Oh, it came with this thing that let me start downloading. And I've already downloaded it once, so I don't think there's any reason to do it again. But it's just like press save and it will be on your computer. Cancel and close. So here is the file in my download folder and the current version, uh, which I could see has not changed since 2012, is 1.02 so they haven't really updated this for a long time but if I go into this there's like a file called 
CCF11 and I am guessing that that's the firmware. So I'm gonna be copying that over to the camera when the battery is charged. So here is the camera and I plug back in the, the battery and to to see what firmware you're running, you have to put it in one of the camera modes. I just put it into manual, right there, manual, M for manual, and you press the menu button right there, and you go over here, and right down there is the firmware version. So this one is running firmware version uh, 1.00, so that's probably the original firmware from this camera. And I have never updated it, so it's probably about time. To firmware update the camera, you have to format the SD card inside of it. And that's under this little thing. Oh, my finger is in the way. You move it. Here is the firmware version. And over here is the format button. And you can format your card by um, flipping this over. Oh. This is in Danish. I really ought to change the language. Let's see if we can change the language. Language, language, language. There is the language, Danish. Oh, that's the wrong one. Danish. Let's go for English so that all the buttons is right. Check. So it still says firmware version 1.0.0 and the format is it looks right now. So we're gonna format and now it's cancel instead of oboe, that's cool. And we're just gonna format this camera. And before I formatted this, I made a little folder on my desktop and I copied all my pictures because bag up is not for men. It's really fast at formatting the card and it's even a rather big card I have in here. I think it's a 32 gigabyte card I have in here. So, And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy over the, the file for the firmware update to the camera. I have connected the camera to the computer through USB wire. It's a mini USB. And over here at the computer, I have the camera over here. And that's the newly formatted card and it makes these folders and over here I have the file and in the zip file so we're just going to copy that over there uh, it's not much for doing that so I'm just going to copy it to the desktop first it's right there and copy it over here uh, do you want to copy? Mm, yes and you cannot copy you don't have permission create this item hmm. okay that's not cool stop copying how rude hmm apparently the camera is locked down and therefore i removed the sd card from the camera and i've copied the files over on a USB stick that is right here. So we're gonna take this USB stick and go over to this computer. And this computer just happens to have a SD card reader right down there. So I'm gonna put in the SD card. Let's see if that works. Planes. It beeps. We're gonna find somewhere good for the USB stick as well, right here on the side. Okay. Oh, it found something, and it found another one. There's the SD card. And that's the USB stick. So we're gonna open that as well. I just borrowed, this is a Windows installation USB stick, so I borrowed that one. I'm just gonna copy the, uh, let's copy the files. I have no idea if it needs all these files. This, 
most of it, I think that's the firmware. Oh, that. I think this is the firmware and these are the manuals, but I'm gonna copy all of them over there just to see what happens. Copy. And they turn up right there. Removing the SD card there and bringing it over to the camera. And we gotta put it back into the camera. Right there. Close. And I'm gonna put back in the battery. Right there. To give it some power. Let's see, it's still on manual. And it's on menu. Turn it off. I'm gonna turn it on. And unplug this apparently. So it cannot be connected to the computer while you do this. Menu. And we're supposed to go over to the firmware and press OK on that. And do you wanna current firmware do you want to update yes let's see what it finds firmware update loading I'm crushing my fingers here and it found something mm, firmware update please select new firmware version cool we're gonna use that one it's the point two Thing. Do I want a firmware upgrade from zero blah 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 to one? I do. And I really hope this works. Even though I don't use this camera very very much. I was planning to trying it out. Like seeing the, the picture should really be better than using the one I'm actually using. Like this camera, it doesn't have automatic uh, focus. Like you can you can focus manually, but when you're filming, it will not automatically keep focus. And the video camera that I'm using right now will do that. So it's kind of a little forth and back. The picture quality should be better on on a camera like this, but some other functions that I know I'm gonna be missing. I'm gonna give it a try. It's done. Is it updated? It's completed. Okay. And it's gonna go back. Press this one. And it says that I have firmware upgraded my camera. It's the new firmware available. Ooh. I was actually just while it was doing that I was just looking at the at the files that came with it and this is just how to firmware upgrade the camera apparently hmm. might be something about how to put the firmware on your SD card but I was hoping that there would be something about what extra things I could get on out of the camera right now now that it has the new and improved firmware but it didn't really say anything about that so now I can go and hunt for changes on the camera those like menus and menus and menus on this thing so I probably have to go online and see what what changes they did um, thank you for watching my videos do give it a thumbs up and Subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. Have a really nice day. Bye bye.